Hello, it's Orlando with another motivational monologue. The topic for today is decision making. We all make decisions, but few of us have a formalized decision making process. We make 35,000 conscious decisions per day. We have over 60,000 thoughts per day, and 95% of those are the same thoughts we had the day before, and 80% of our thoughts are negative. I was walking through the airport uh, a few years ago, and I saw a sign that said, no, K-N-O-W. I walked further down the concourse, I saw another sign that said, no, K-N-O-W. Now, to me, that represents a sign, something I should pay attention to. And I'm always looking for words to tell me something or to teach me something. So I looked within the word to see how many words were in the word no, and by the time I reached the gate, I came up with seven words. Now over the years, I've come up with 10 or 11 words from the word no, which forms the basis for what I call the no system, K-N-O-W system, for decision making and problem solving. No matter what the decision is, no matter what the problem is, you can gather information by using the no system to help you make a better decision. For example, if I'm speaking to a group of people, I would walk to a whiteboard or a flip chart and write the word no, K-N-O-W, and ask the group to think two things. What words are in this word no, using the four letters that are there? Uh, and secondly, what decision or problem do they have to solve that's pressing right now or something they have to address in the future? Now, after giving that some thought, they would come up with the words, no, K-N-O-W, own, O-W-N, okay, walk, ow, O-W, on, no, now, one, W-O-N, and, as I said earlier, walk. So if you have to make a decision these words will help you gather the information necessary to improve the quality of your decision. For example, suppose our decision is around relationships and we want, want to know how to have a stronger, uh, more substantive relationship with our boss, with our coworkers, with our direct reports, someone that we have a relationship with personally. In this day and age of diversity, are there people who are of different ethnicities, cultures, races, gender, that we need to establish a relationship with. So let's look at relationships. But once again, it doesn't only apply to relationships. If you want to look at a customer to see how are your sales going with that customer, what do you need to do with that particular process? This will help you do that. Now I've compared this to time management, change management, and other systems, and the same components are present. For example, we're trying to establish a stronger relationship uh, with our boss. The first thing you would ask yourself is, one, W-O-N. If I was to have a winning relationship with my boss, what does excellence look like with that individual? What does success look like with them? So I'd write that down on a piece of paper, I'd write one, W-O-N, and then I would list these things that are important to me. And then what do I know and what do I need to know? Is there additional information required for me to make a decision? Are there some things I need to be aware of in order to make this decision go better? What am I doing now, N-O-W? Is what I'm doing now the right thing to be doing now? Is it working for me? Then. No, N-O. There are some things that I have to say no to because they're not working for me. Sometimes I have to say no to myself in certain categories. So I look at what I'm doing now to see what's working. Then I ask myself, what do I have to say no to? Because whatever happens, O-W-N, I am going to have to own it. I am going to be held responsible for it. I will be held accountable for it. So it's very important that I come up with some things that I can be committed to and be passionate about. So what do I own? And I'm going to have to be on, O-N at all times. 
I'm going to have to be on message, on target, on fire. I'm going to have to really have it going on consistently in order for this to work. So I have to be on at all times. Now, sometimes, ow, O-W, whatever happens is going to hurt. Sometimes pain means you're doing the wrong thing. Was this a choice you made? Sometimes it means you're doing the thing wrong, which is technique. Other times it's the natural difficulty that you go through. Anytime you change or do something different. Someone will see the word walk on the board, W-O-K, and they say, well, what's that all about? I say, well, sometimes you have to stir things up a little bit. Just because it's always been done that way doesn't mean that it always has to be done that way. And in this day and age, there is a need many times for disruption. How do you change things? How do you shake things from the status quo to make things go the way they should go? So, and if it's okay, uh, it needs to be better. Now, Jim Collins in his book, Good to Great, said that good is the enemy of excellence. If good is the enemy of excellence, okay cannot be too far behind. The only place okay works is on a checklist. Did I get that done? Okay, I got it done. So if you have a decision to make, and we just went through looking at relationships, you can walk it through this decision-making model, the no system, to enable you to gather the information required in order to make the decision. I talk to students and they ask, you know, what do I need to, what, what can I be, or what should I be when I grow up? So we'll say, one, when you win, what does it look like? What do you know about that particular occupation? What are you doing now? Is it going to help you get there? What are you going to have to say no to? What habits are you going to have to develop? Sometimes no means no and never. Sometimes no means not now. What are you going to have to shift around a bit and stir things up a bit to make things different? And if it's going to be okay, if it's going to be difficult, if it's going to hurt, are you prepared? What's your pain threshold? What's your pain th tolerance level? Do you, are you aware of what you're going to encounter? So once again, if you have a decision to make, the no system works for you. Now I've written about the no system in a book called The Isle of Knowledge, in another book, Unlock Your Leadership Greatness. Find out more about decision-making and utilizing the no system at orlandocesar.com. Have a fantastic day. See you soon.